What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on iRacing because one of my favorite cars has now been released into the iRacing server. That is that BMW M4 GT4 race car. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. Perfect time to debut the new BMW Puma driving shoes with the M Sport and the BMW logo and everything on the back. So we're we'll rocking the BMW racing shoes as well today. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the front in the description box below. Let's get driving. All right, so we are in the beautiful M4 GT4. We are in the Akaz Rift S, just centered my stuff. Oh, look, the key's strapped in there. That's pretty sweet. So I've been waiting for this car to come out for a very long time. I love the M4 GT4. Definitely an amazing car. So we're going to take our first impressions here. We're going to get this thing turned on. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. All the lights turn on. Then, you, you know, the Evil Rad pit crew and everything over there. Let's get this thing started off. Oh, yeah. So we do have pit limiter. So what do we have? We have DSC on, MDM, or off. So we're going to go with DSC on for first. Turn our pit limiter on. Kicks in the first. First impressions of this car. Interior looks amazing. We are on Sebring International Raceway, a course that I'm super familiar with. So it's something we're going to be able to know where we're going to get a full rundown of this car oh don't touch grass so it is a track that we're gonna have to uh go slow on for the first lap because of cold tires oh don't go in the dirt so first impressions of the wheel feel the wheel feels amazing on this car it feels incredibly good and it's just It looks amazing, and it's a car, like I said, I've been waiting for it to come out for a very long time. It's very bright in this track today, apparently. So, the M4 GT4 is a basically a factory race car that you could pretty much buy if... If an M dealer wanted to sell it to you, an M certified dealer can order one for you. I think they're like $190,000. So, but... They do compete in the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup and stuff like that, which is the series that they're going to be competing in in here. Oh, okay. Definitely everything's still cold. So we're going to turn it on to MDM and see what MDM difference is. Kind of confused why the track is doing the whole... Okay. Getting a little squirrely there, so be mindful of that. A little bit more oversteery with all that turn off. I can barely see the track. It's wondering why the track is actually uh, changing lighting like that for me. What? Did I? Mm, I cut it. Apparently, I cut the track. All right, there we go. Now we're good. So now we're going to be able to get a hot lap in the car. The car does feel super amazing. I'm wondering if it's just some lighting thing in the Rift S that I need to adjust. Because I did update some stuff in the game with this patch update and everything with the car release and everything like that so managing the bumps the car feels awesome i can't wait to get into some solid races with this it is when i look away interesting i wonder if i need to change some uh settings in the game for this to make it handle a little bit better lighting or maybe it's just the track oh come back on track there we go so, but first impressions of this car. Oh, didn't need to go too far. This car is going to be so much fun to actually race. The wheel feels incredible. And I feel like I'm going to love racing in the GT4 class against the Cayman. And I believe the Audi RS3 is in the same Michelin Pilot Sport, but it's not part of the same class. Cluster and everything looks amazing. 
Should have braked a little bit sooner there. But we're okay. A little bit of uh, over rev there, but this car is truly amazing. And you know, you guys know that I drive, you know, not a BMW, but I work for BMW, so I get a chance to drive all kinds of BMWs all the time. And you know, I've never got a chance to drive the M4 GT4, but I've got a chance to drive the M4 GTS, which is a half cage car and stuff like that. So it's, you know, it's pretty incredible to be able to drive these cars on the daily and stuff like that when I work on them and you know get to drive the M cars and stuff it's they're truly exceptional cars and I love the way they handle and I can't you know be excited that the M4 DT4 is here in the racing world of iRacing with a full laser scanned car I pushed way too wide there full laser scanned car and everything like that because they took time to make this car exact oh <laughs> And I think they did an amazing job of it. It's definitely a very awesome car. It feels incredibly good. And I got a 1X. And I'm going to have so much fun racing this with my friends and some other co-workers in some GT4 races. So if you guys didn't notice before on the top, I do. And if you guys saw me on Instagram, you guys know. I do have my iRacing A-Class license just trying to get used to this new car. I did get my A-Class license running the SimLab series, running the MX-5 and the TDI Cup car and stuff like that, and running some GT3 races. So I'm super excited to be, you know, have a clean, oh God, I say clean and we almost go off track. Easily recovered though. Let's turn this all the way off and see what it does. No DSC. I have a pretty clean driving record and I have a decent eye rating, so I'm... Ooh! Oh, we drifting? No. Oh, man. Oh, that sounded like it hurt. So let's take a look at some of the out view of the car and actually see what it looks like on track because the inside looks incredible. So we're going to take a look at the out view. We're going to go back, though. Where's my cursor? Cursor. Hello, cursor. There you are, cursor. I'm going to go back to lap one and watch it in TV view one. Definitely very weird watching an Oculus, but we get a chance to see it in all its glory from a distance in this camera angle. But I feel like it'll get closer on some turns yet. We'll get a good chance to see it here. A lot of off tracks, but for first run out of the car, I'm super excited to be running this car gonna make a livery and everything like that gonna be bringing more iRacing content to the channel with this because we got some big things coming to the channel with this m4 gt4 and some stuff brewing here in iRacing getting my a class license was not necessary getting a b class license i believe was necessary for what we are planning on doing so make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter just a quick look at the M4 GT4 race car here on iRacing. First impressions of the car. It's definitely incredible. It drives amazing. I cannot wait to get into races. I know I said this enough. I'm just geeking over this car because it's been a car that I've been waiting to come out for a very long time. You guys remember when race room was free, I did do a drive in the M4 in there and it was amazing. And this car feels 10 times better. The wheel feel is great. The actual way the car reacts and everything is incredible. And I you know, I can't wait to get on, you know, on some races with some friends. It sounds good. It's got that little crackly pop of an M car when you're shifting the gears with the paddle shifters. So, like I said, make sure you follow me on all social media. All of which are in the description box below. I'm Evil Rabbit. I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the track.